Okie dokie. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of a different stream setup uh, going on right now. Right now, I am not able to hear any of the music because I actually unplugged all of my headphones and everything, so hopefully everything is playing uh, fine and nothing is going wrong, but uh, I don't know, if, if, if there's a problem, I guess we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure it out together on stream, but I'm here now, it's a little bit early, preferably, or the schedule, hey CC, what's up? Where's Claire? Claire may, might be coming, I don't know. <laughs> Are you only here to, to see Claire? <laughs> uh, I, I am going to be going back to the regular schedule, which is 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays, Eastern Time. But I'm just a little bit early today because I'm going to have to leave a little bit early today. So any, any, any extra time, if I make it all the way to 6, then that's, this is all just extra time. But... Um, I really wanted to title the stream today finishing this uh, project, but I don't want to get like too overconfident and then like, you know, feel bad that it's not done if it's not done, but yo, what's up, <laughs> Winder, <laughs> Winder, hey Lil, what's up, um, so I was just like, I was just like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just title it this. Hopefully we finish and then we get to move on to some other things, but we'll see. Uh, in terms of what I'm going to be doing exactly right now, um, I have this little cap here, although I might actually just keep that white, that or like that gray white and not color it. It doesn't look too out of the way. I already said, Cece, I said I don't know where Claire is. She, she's not... She's not being forced to come to every single one of my streams on time at right when it starts. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll, I think I'm just gonna start up here actually at this thing. <laughs> is the music the music is coming through fine, right? Because I know there was some there were some problems yesterday. I had to spend more than ten minutes trying to get everything completely figured out with the music, but. I think it's all it's all going fine right now. That's that's what matters. There's no music playing. I don't I don't know if I can trust you. Is Claire CC's woman from your what? <laughs> are you are you having a stroke? <laughs> you spelled like three words in that sentence properly. Uh, yes, Claire is CC's woman from the stream yesterday, according to CC. Is, is the music playing and just very soft, or are you just completely trolling? Because I, I, I feel like I can't trust you anymore And what, what you have to say. Your phone is racist? Why? What? I, what? Oh, God. I don't know what that means. All right. Let's, let's, I'm, I'm just going to, uh, you go ahead and do whatever you have to do to fix your phone. And I'm just going to start this right now. You don't hear any music? Alright, let me let me turn it up. It's apparently playing. You can see it's playing. Uh, it might just be like really low. I know there are times usually when uh, my music is too high and then it's like such a big problem. It's definitely playing. Like, you can see it. Like, oh, it's very faint. Oh, hey, Swag, what's up? Alright, I'll turn it up. Okay, okay. My, my, my uh, concern is that then it's going to get too loud and then it's like... It's very distracting. That's the one thing, that's another thing is like, I was talking about how I need a second monitor yesterday. I need like, I don't know, I don't know, is there a way to like, because I can't hear exactly what's being outputted on stream without listening back to the stream. I guess that's what I should be doing, but oh well. I'm not listening to anything right now. It's kind of weird, it's a weird feeling, because usually I have at least some background noise, but now it's like, it's like just, just just me. It's just me here, all alone, sitting in a room, <laughs> just working on this, talking to myself, basically. Okay. You can faintly hear it now, doggo. I need what we need is we need um, uh, what's it called? Getting uh, what's it called? The 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 affiliate affiliate, and then I'll. What if we were ever to get an aff become an affiliate with Twitch? What would the emoji be? Because I feel like we could have like a really cool emoji. Emotes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's there you go, Bryn. How you doing, Bryn? Um, 
Affiliate, you only get one emoji though, is that right? Or do you get more? Or emote, whatever. They're emojis. That's what they are. They're emojis. Global Discord emotes. Uh, so <laughs> yes, buy me a second screen. No, so I, I don't know if you were here yesterday, CC, when I was talking about a second screen. I have this app on my phone that it was like, it was supposedly, it was supposed to allow me to turn my phone into a second screen. And it works, but it also makes my computer like super, super, super laggy. And I don't know if that's a problem with my computer or if it's, pro if it's a problem with the app. So now like, like I'm kind of scared of having to buy a second monitor because if I buy it, you know, spend some money, it's probably like a hundred bucks, right? To get a, no, like just, I just need like a crappy monitor. I just need something else. It doesn't have to be like this crazy thing. Um, but if I, my, my fear is that I'll buy that and then it'll make my computer super laggy and I won't be able to use it anyway. And it's like, well, what good does that do me? Um, but yeah, I mean, I would like a second monitor if that's, that's what you mean. Let's see. I'm trying to get a good color here. I want like a dark green. Um, it's most likely the app. Ah. I don't know if it's most likely the app, though. It could be. It could be, Bryn. I don't know. It could be. You're pro I mean, you're probably right. You're probably right. But at the same time, like, my computer struggles just streaming in general. So, I don't know. Streaming and then having a second monitor. I think, th I think that's what does it in. Because it, it didn't lag when I wasn't streaming. It only lagged when I was... I did a test stream with the second monitor using the app. And that's when it started lagging. Before that, it wasn't lagging. So it might just be my computer. Uh, you already bought an entire server room at Amazon? Uh, no, you did not buy me an entire server room. Do I have a separate GPU? or do I use the integrated one. I'm using a 2015 uh, MacBook Pro 13-inch laptop. And that's, that's it. I have no extra I mean I have an extra I have an external hard drive but it's not even plugged in it's just for when I'm done editing photos I, I put them all over there so they don't take up a ton of space on my computer but that in turn that's like the only external thing that I have uh, I don't know Amazon is bad <laughs> uh, yeah yeah that is a problem I know I know so should so Bryn should I be looking into getting a, a a Microsoft, like, or a Windows computer for streaming. Because the thing is, too, is that, like, a lot of the Adobe products are already, they're optimized mostly for Mac, right? Isn't that true? That's what I was reading, or slash, maybe, I mean, maybe that's not true, but that's what I thought was the case. Um, I don't know if that's true, though. So, so uh, like, I kind of feel bad moving away from Mac because if that's the thing that Adobe is optimizing for, then that's where I would like to stay, ideally. All right, let's get, like, a purplish ruler going down. Uh, yeah, it, please, please don't fight in the comment section. <laughs> Mac is garbage. Uh, lots of software are better on Mac. Yeah, that is the problem. Although, strangely enough, it's so weird how that works because everyone's like, oh, Mac sucks. Mac is the worst. Like, it can't handle any of our programs. And then, like, Adobe is optimized for Mac. So it's like, well, what do I need to do? <laughs> There's, it doesn't work like that. You can't tell me one thing and then do the other. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this over with. It's easier to get a more powerful machine with Windows, or you can get an iMac Pro. Uh, iMac Pro is, but that's a, that's not a laptop, right? See, I I kind of need a laptop just because it's easier to deal with, and so I've kind of accepted the fact that I'm not going to have the most power. I don't need like this amazingly like super powerful machine that's like. Like a game, like a high-end gaming PC, you know. I just need something that's able to stream, like like fairly well, in 1080p. It's something that can stream that in 1080p and can also, uh, and I can also use Photoshop at the same time and have a second monitor. 
Like, honestly, I assume if I got one of the newer Macs, it would be less, uh, less of a problem. I would assume, right? Plus, not only is this old, but it's, like, used, too. So I, I think that has an effect on its processing power a little bit. Just, like, it gets, like, old and worn down, right? Alright. Yeah, Mac is mostly for productivity. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I know. I know you can't game on a Mac. I've, I've, I, I actually, I've, I mean, I play some games on my Mac, but you, there's no way. Like, there's, it's just not, it just doesn't work. I tried to download Fortnite on my Mac uh, a couple weeks ago, because, like, well, the weird thing is, like, I know people that are able to play Fortnite on their Mac, and I, so I was like, okay, I'll download it, and I downloaded it on mine, and it just, it did not work, like, it just crashed every time I tried to get into a game. I couldn't parachute in. Weirdly, I have not, uh, played any Fortnite. Okay, uh, let me see, hold on. But yeah, yeah, Mac is mostly for, like, productivity stuff, so, um... There's some Windows laptops from Asus that are fairly cheap and pretty good. Uh, oh, here we go, iMac. <laughs> only, only, only five thousand dollars. Yeah, swag. You're right. It's it's only five thousand. Oh, oh, you know. Oh, this is what this is. Oh, I think I know. I think I know someone who bought this. The five thousand uh, dollar Mac computer. Is that what this is? Uh, the the Twitch like browser that this brings up is really bad. Why can't a why can't Apple just make something that's like regularly priced? Like I'm sure this machine isn't even that much better than like a lot of Windows stuff for way 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 less than half of the price. Like you're gonna charge five thousand dollars for a computer? I I think Mac Mac just kind of preys on like stupid people to buy their products, including myself. Because, like, there are definitely cheaper options out there that are much better, right? <laughs> you can get, right, you can get two Beast computers for that price uh, on a Windows machine, yeah. So they just kind of, they kind of prey on stupid people to be like, who, who know nothing about computers, so, so myself, and, like, you know, aren't into it into that whole scene at all and they'll just be like yeah I'll, I'll go with Apple that's the name brand that's the brand that I recognize Apple doesn't let me down they just they just assume like oh Apple's selling it to me for five thousand dollars that it must be like a machine worth five thousand dollars right whereas Windows is like no like you actually get a good product for a reasonable price you get a much better product than, than a, a Mac could do Gaming computer, streaming one plus two monitors. Ooh. So okay. So is is a streaming is a streaming computer considered? You need like a a a, a beefier uh, GPU for that than even for gaming. Is that is that how that works? I assume that like the high end gaming stuff is uh is even harder to come by than the streaming stuff. But you're saying the streaming like streaming stuff is top of the line. Is that what you're saying? Um. A powerful CPU, lots of RAM, and a cheap GPU. Okay. And and there's nothing. Is there anything you can do? Uh oh, what? Oh, sorry. Is there anything you can do to like deck out uh, a Mac to make it more useful, more useful for streaming? Or is it just like you get what you get and you don't get upset? You know, like like the. Are there like any external things I can add to it? without, like, taking apart the computer. Oh, you think I can, okay. Like, what, like, what can I, what can I buy? I don't know. <laughs> I always like that, I really like that video. <laughs> what's the, what's the video, there's like the kid, I, I think I'm mixing like up, I'm mixing up two memes, but there's like a meme where like, the kid is asking for like, dedicated wham. That's a really funny video. <laughs> And there's also, there's also a video, or, it's just like the meme of like, where can I go to like download more RAM on my computer? Like that thing. Because that's what I need to do, I need to go and download more RAM on my computer. Although, I'm, I'm working with, uh, what am I working with? 
8 gigabytes but between the streaming and just having OBS open and having Photoshop open, it's, it's a lot. Um, you can stream from consoles, so it may be possible to do it from Mac. Yeah, yeah, I know you can stream from consoles, I know. Uh, I have not tried to do it myself because, like, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just not that interested in, like, streaming, like, gameplay at all. I don't know. It, it's just not something that interests me at all, so I haven't done it. But I know, I know, like, CC and, like, other people are like, when's the, when's the, uh, when's the video game stream coming? The special edition one. It's like, I don't know. It, it's, it's not that interesting to me. There are people that are better than me and have more interesting streams to do, more interesting gaming streams, you know. It's, it's just not, it's just not me. It's not me. That's, that's the best way to put it. Let's see. What color, what color should I make it? I'm liking this pink. Um, you can use a capture card. Ooh, oh, I see. That's true. But capture cards are very expensive, too. So that would be like, basically, instead of using OBS, I plug something in and it's like a dedicated, uh, like, encoder and stream, stream box thing, right? I, I, I could certainly look into that, yeah. Um, that would be interesting to do. Um, I'm trying to see what else. This is getting a little bit... I knew this, this area was going to be so complicated, but... Uh, hold on, just give me a second. This is like this is like when it this is at this point it gets difficult to like talk and, and read the chat and also do all this stuff at the same time because oof. this is just a weird shape like this that's not my fault it just looks weird it's just a weird shape oh you're saying <laughs> yeah, definitely cheaper than a new Mac that's a good point uh, and I don't I don't want a new Mac. Like I'm not I'm not looking to upgrade just to stream. At some point I am going to have to buy a new computer and I would start to like take into account its streaming capabilities because I, I bought this computer um, I bought it what 2015, so like three years ago. That's A, I was so much younger than I didn't even know what I was getting into, really. And B, um, Let's see, scissor handle. Uh, B, I obviously had no idea that I was gonna be streaming or anything like that. I was just like, let's buy like, let's buy like a cheap, get it done, <laughs> Fortnite duo with you. I don't play Fortnite. Going back to what I said, I, I, <laughs> I, I was downloading it on my computer as a joke because I don't actually play a Fortnite. But that being said, I, I tried to open it and I couldn't anyway. If, if we were going to play Fortnite, we could, I, would, I could potentially do that. But, um, what's going on here? Did I not... Oh, I didn't shift click. Here we go. Um, we could play, we could play, but I would be really bad at it. <laughs> so, if you're okay with like carrying me or whatever, I literally have not even like look like I've not even watched gameplay of Fortnite yet because like I don't know I'm just like so not into the trendy thing I'm just like yeah I don't know I don't get it I just don't get it like I don't get the whole PUBG and the what is it like the, the PUBG and uh CSGO, well, okay, C PUBG and CSGO are two different things, but I'm saying I don't I don't get any of it like the competitive Gaming stuff and I think Fortnite especially I feel like Fortnite is just like the trend like it's just a trend right now And I don't have the time to like really Yeah, right the battle No, 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 I don't, no, no, I don't get esports at all I've had this conversation on stream before of how I don't get esports at all, but uh I'm talking specifically the battle royale the battle royale royale stuff like you're saying the the PUBG the Fortnite the, uh, what it was, the H1Z1 or whatever. I don't know if that's Battle Royale or not, I'm not sure. Um, but it, it just seems like it's like the trendy thing, and it's like, to me, I don't really have the time to go in and learn, like, 
when, when you're going to pick up a new game, and especially like a multiplayer game, you have to be... You have to be like very involved in the community aspect of it, like this combination of weapons is the best. Uh, here's a new glitch that will get you farther. Like you know, like the like the the meta game of it all, like using this exploit, like oh you use this gun and this gun and you'll always win because it's the best at this range from this fire rate, and it, it's just like it's just like so much to get into that. Uh, You've always played. That's true. I mean, like, but even if you're playing it for fun, though, like, to me, like, you have to know what you're doing still, right? Like, like you know what gun is best to use, and like you know, I'm sure you know like what gun is best to use, and uh, the, like the different spots, like where to drop in on the like what's the best spot to drop in on on the Fortnite map. Uh, which containers should you be looking for, or whatever. I, like I said, I don't know anything about the game, so I can't be any more specific than that, but... And that's just, like, all this, like, useless information that, like, I don't really care about, or, like, want to know about at all. I, maybe that makes me weird, but... Because I know in a year that no one's gonna be playing the game anymore anyway. Because there are, like, because half of the people playing the game are only playing it because their friends are playing it, like you are. I, I feel like that's what I feel like is gonna happen. It's gonna drop off and there's gonna be some other new hip game come ar that comes around and, and takes the cake. And it's just like, yeah, okay. Like, like I, I get it, I get it. Um, that is debatable because everyone has their own play style. So you just adapt. Right, it's, go it's going to die. It's going to die and I think it's going to die a lot sooner than people think. Because it's like the hottest thing on the market right now, obviously. And actually, actually, Twitch like like it's it's helped Twitch like grow, which is which is just so strange. But um, it's definitely gonna die at some point. Let me see. Let me see. I know, I know, and you're saying that you know you adapt to your your own separate playstyle. So so now you're telling me that I have, you know I have to play for like 15 hours just to like see like what works best for me. You know, like it's just like it's just a lot. Like I'll play Madden, and I, I actually I don't know how familiar you are with Madden. You're you're from Europe, so you probably don't really care about Madden at all. The the football American football game. Uh, and th like those come out every year, and I haven't updated to the new one yet to, to play the new one. It's like FIFA. Like I haven't updated the new one yet, because uh, like I just I just enjoy playing uh, Madden 17, and I don't want to have to learn like a whole bunch of new controls or like like the new exploits. Like what's the play that will get you a touchdown like every time? Like I already know all that, so like I like I don't want to take the time out of my day to learn how to play a game kind of I don't, it's kind of hard to explain but I think it makes sense uh, hey Tom what's up you're you're finally here well I was a little bit early to be fair so don't don't blame yourself we we're just talking about how fortnite is going to die and I I have no I have no I have friends that play okay so I have I have friends that play it and they want me to get into it. That's that's part of the reason why I did. Um, that's why I did uh, download it on my computer. But like, we we have other things to do. <laughs> like, it's not like we have to play Fortnite. You know what I mean? So, to me, it's not like there's this whole big rush to go out and be like, to go, to just go just just to get into it all. Like I was explaining. Like it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just like very, very weird about that, about how like, but I don't know. It's, it's like getting into a new TV show, how like that can be daunting, right? And you, you know, someone says, someone tells you to watch a show and you're like, well, I don't have, if it's a drama, the episodes are an hour long, there are 12 episodes in the season, so that's 12 hours per season. Now you're saying there's nine seasons of the show. So I don't have 108 hours to sit down and watch a show from start to finish. So I'm maybe, maybe I appreciate your suggestion, but maybe I'm not going to, you know, hop on that right now. That's, that's what I feel like. That's, that's how I feel like, uh, you know, that's how I feel like in terms of getting into Fortnite. Um, you're just playing because you, <laughs> you have time to spare. That's true too, yeah. 
But even then, like, if I have time to spare and I want to unwind or just relax, I'm going to go and play a game that I'm already good at, that I already know everything about, that it has a lot of replayability, like I'm sure Fortnite does, but the fact that there's not that extra learning curve of jumping into it. And I'm sure once I get, uh, once I sit down and play a bunch of games, like, it's really fun. And it'll be a game that I could go back to really easily and just pick up and play. But I'm, I'm just not willing to put in that, that, that initial time commitment to, like, learn about the game. That's it. That's all. That's, I think that's, that's just, like, the easy way to sum it all up. That's what I would say. Uh, let me drop down back to a softer edge brush here. What are, what are my thoughts on Villanova? Is what is did Villanova, uh, Tom? You're talking about college basketball, I assume, right? Was Villanova the one that was up against Michigan last night? I know that was a huge deal, right? Was that Villanova? Or was that not Villanova? I don't know. I <laughs> if, you're, if you're asking for my thoughts about it, you shouldn't be asking for my thoughts about it because obviously I have I have no idea about any of it. So my thoughts are I I don't know or care. Those are my thoughts, but I I think that's what you're talking about, right? Uh, in terms of Villanova, when you bring that up, I have not visited Villanova. I vi I visited Penn State one time. That was a little bit interesting. They have a good ice cream place on campus that was uh, really, really delicious. Um, but <laughs> that's my that's my knowledge. Yeah, Villan uh, Bryn. Oh, you're saying Fortnite gets repetitive unless it's special events. So, <laughs> so you're so Bryn. You're saying that it's not even. I like. I shouldn't even be getting into it. Is that what you're saying? Because it's just gonna get repetitive, right? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be like. Champion, championing, championing, championing me to get to. He's supposed to be convincing me to go and do it, right? All right, let's see. Scissors. I, I mean, I prefer Call of. I, I still play uh, Call of Duty Four and Call of Duty Six, the, the the two first Modern Warfare games. I, I mean, I go back. That game, Modern Warfare 2 now, is going to be 10 years old. Uh, and I love playing that game. I, I, I played it... I Actually, I really... I haven't played any video games really at all recently, but if I'm going to go back and play a video game, that's the game that I'm into right now. And it's 10 years old, and I'm still going back to it. So it's like, to me... Especially, especially once you get into the online... Obviously, like, the online multiplayer games, they have more re replayability... But, like, I, I, I don't get bored very easily, I feel like. Especially now, because, like, I, I don't have that much money to be throwing around spending on a different video game every month. So, uh, I'm not going to be going out and buying a new game. Like, I'm, I'm going to make do with what I have. Like, if you give me a choice between buying a new game... And I, Fortnite is, is free. I'm, I'm off of Fortnite at this point. But, uh, if you give me a choice between going out and buying a new game or playing a game that I already have, like, I'm, not, I'm just too cheap to go out and spend the money at this point, too. So, um, that's another reason why I'm not going to be getting into, like, a ton of all new games. Let me see. <clears throat> Definitely not get into it if you do. Uh, Battlefield 4. Ooh. And it looks and runs better than any recent games. Uh, Battlefield 4. No, no, no. See, I had, ooh, I don't know if, I think I got rid of it. I, I might have sold it back. Recently, or well, like a couple months ago, I sort of made the decision like, I, I'm gonna cut back on my the amount of time I spend playing video games, and so I'm I'm, a little bit disappointed in that. I I I used to be like very into the whole industry and it, like the whole video games industry, like waiting for the new game to come out, waiting for the new release. Uh, <laughs> Penny Pincher Wendar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very cheap. I'm extremely cheap. I pride myself in in my in how cheap I am. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Let me see. Battlefield Four. So I I like recently or not recently, but a couple months ago, I basically decided like I'm gonna cut back on my video game playing, and so I I ended up trading trading in a bunch of my games to GameStop. 
But I know I, I had at one point, I don't know if I still do, but I had at one point, what is this color? What is this? Ugh, I don't know. This is like a gross part of the photo. Um, I know at one point I had Battlefield Hardline, which like people people are like divided, seem to be divided about that Battlefield Hardline, because like it, it wasn't made. That that's the only Battlefield game I've ever played. So, uh, like I I I really know nothing about the franchise and the series. I was just like, let me just buy whatever, because that was the newest one when it came out. But I know like apparently like the fans of the series don't like it or whatever but I was just like I was I was reading because uh, in Battlefield Hardline there aren't like a ton of vehicles in it and so I come from the background of like playing a ton of Call of Duty where there aren't any uh, vehicles in it at all right or pretty much no vehicles at all so like I was, I was reading about up about whether I should buy Hardline or Battlefield 4 and basically people are saying like if you want more like boots on the ground uh, grounded gameplay get hardline and if you want like battlefield 4 which you know battlefield is like famous for like their giant set pieces with like helicopters and and flying a tank into a helicopter and, and using a tank to blow up a building from the top of a roof and whatever <laughs> and like which is probably really fun. I, I'll give it. I'll give you that. But uh, I don't know. I just felt like that was too intimidating for me. So I was like, okay, I'll do. I'll do hardline. And so that's that's why I picked that one up instead. Um, and it was fun. It was really interesting. I. But like I said, like I'm. I don't play it anymore. <laughs> I because I cut back on like my video game playing completely. Um, I don't really know where I was going with that. <laughs> I think I was just building off of the fact that you said you play, you, you oh, so you play, you play, uh, you play a lot of Battlefield. Like, uh, the, uh, to me, the, like, those games, like, the, the first-person shooters, uh, like, I love those games. Uh, you put one in front of me and I'll play it, uh, I don't know. But Fortnite is just like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, to be honest, you got Battlefield 4 for the big maps. Okay, okay, yeah, uh, I would love to play Battlefield 4, I would, I really would, uh, not a lot, two hours a day, two hours a day, okay, okay, yeah, that's fine, um, I would love to play Battlefield 4, I just never got a chance to do it, and I think, I think where it really shines is for, for PC, right, because, I don't know like how much they have to scale things down for. I I only play on console as we've have, as we've just discussed. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any. Um, I don't have any gaming computers or gaming laptops or anything like that. So I just have my PS3 and I have my PS4, and that's all I have. So uh, that that was the other thing that I was reading about Battlefield 4 is like you know, it's really meant to be played on PC with the huge maps and so much going on and all this and all that and blah 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 blah. Um, so that's another reason why I went with Hardline. Although the maps on Hardline, are, some of them are pretty big too. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, OSU. I feel like I've heard of that game, but I, I don't know what it is. So you think it's a rhythm game? Um, what, I I don't know anything. Tell me, tell me about it. Tell me, tell me the tale of OSU. Um, when you say rhythm game, does that mean like something like Guitar Hero or like or like I know Parappa Parappa the Rapper, Parappa the Rapper? That was like a a PS2 game, right? Something like that. Is that, is that what you mean? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, just. Go, just go ahead, educate me, educate me. All right, this is magazine. I don't know what this actually is. I'm, I'll just name it magazine for now. I have no idea. Or, uh, yeah, so this would be, this is the tray. And then back here is the magazine. Um, I'm just gonna zoom out for a second here to get a better picture, better understanding of what we have going on here. I think when, when you zoom out, it doesn't look too bad, but... 
that's just a, this is just a difficult area of the photo because unlike everything else ooh, and let me change this to something a little bit less saturated a little bit less eye-catching like that is a little bit better yeah there you go okay here we go I'm reading up now um, OSU has four different game modes. Main game mode, standard, clicking circles on the beat of the song. So it applies aiming with your mouse and clicking on your keyboard. The game mode you play now is mainly as a piano simulator. So it is, so it is like, uh, it is like, um, Guitar Hero, is what you're saying. You know, a bunch of things falling and then you click on it, or whatever. You click on something in time, when it's supposed to be time. <laughs> Imagine Guitar Hero with a keyboard. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. So now, but now you're saying that Mania is like the piano mode. What does that, what does that mean? I, uh, okay. There we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's just keep on keeping on. We're getting close. I can, I can taste it. We're getting so close. <laughs> Alright. So the piano mode, what would the piano mode be? Um, I wonder I wonder if people uh, actually like learn how to play musical instruments from uh, from those games. I mean it's kinda of, is I mean obviously you're not reading music, but it's uh, some of some some similar skills I suppose would transfer over. Although I guess you could you could say that about any video game. It's just like uh, video games will increase your hand-eye coordination, things like that, which I suppose is true. What one of the things? Okay, go, let me let me come back. Um, you can play Mania with one keys up to ten. Oh dang! Okay, that's interesting. And so you're saying that that guy he learned from uh, OSU. Is that how you're supposed to, how do you say it? Are you supposed to say the, the initials out like that? Or is it like Osu? That, that's actually really cool. If he, if he learned, that's, that, those are like, that's like part of the positive aspects of video games. The latter. Okay. Osu. Got you. I don't like the former and the latter expression, just a side tangent. Um, it's just like too confusing. Just say the first one or the second one. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I just, this may be something stupid to say, but it's just like, what, what, the former, the latter, just say the first thing and the second thing. I also, I don't like, I don't like people that say like, this is true. Like if you're having a conversation with someone, for some reason, that, <laughs> there's just like a bunch of random sayings that like grind my gears. And someone says, this is true. Like you're having a conversation with them and like you state a fact and they'll say, it's like to agree with you, they'll be like, ah, this is true. And you know, <laughs> well, maybe maybe I'm the only one that, that gets annoyed by that. That's just something I figured I'd bring up in the meantime. So did that guy get good playing the video game, or did, or was he a piano player uh, that also happened to play the game and is now even better, even better now? What what is the story behind that that whole thing there, that whole saga? Um, he didn't learn playing piano from Osu, but from O2 Jam. That's another arcade machine. Catch the beat. <laughs> you have to try to catch some fruit to the beat. This is funny because I have no idea what you're talking about. So like, I'm just imagining. I don't. I don't even know. I don't. I like. I have no idea what you're even talking about. What you're even referring to. Catch the beat is probably the easiest. So I would. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me some photos or a video reference, and I'll just pull it up really quick in, in the in the Twitch browser, 
and I'm taking like a tiny like five second break. I just want to see the vi like I just want to see the visual of it. Like I, I understand the gameplay. I I I, am, I totally understand what you're saying in terms of the gameplay, but I just want to see like what. Um, did you try to post a link and it didn't work? If not, send it to me on Discord. Uh, DM it to me or no, you should be able to because someone posted a link here earlier. Let me know. Or, or whisper it to me. Send it to me as a whisper on Twitch. Uh, but you should. You should have access to be posting links. Because I just, I just want to see what you're talking about. I imagine... Because my, my only reference... Is, uh, okay, okay. You were asking for... Uh, oh, oh, oh. You're asking for my permission. Yeah, you have permission. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you to, to post it for me. <laughs> I, I just imagine, because my only frame of reference is for rhythm games is like more for kids, like like cartoony style things. Like there was this, like I don't know, I was I was referencing it earlier, Parappa the Rappa. I don't know if you know what that is, but that's like a, it's just like a, it was just for kids. I mean, it's not kids, but like it's an art style. It's like a cartoony art art style, I should say. And same thing with like there was some aspects of, I don't know if you've ever heard of the game called Sly Cooper, but in one of the games, like one of the boss battles, it's like, it's like a rhythm, you, you, it's like a rhythm fight against the boss. And that, again, that's another cartoon game. Uh, so did I see, oh no, Tom, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to do that. All right, this is seven keys mode, let's see. Oh, oh, so it is like guitar here. I see. I thought there were like visuals to it. I mean, uh, like, like, uh, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm watching this now. This is insane. What? Oh, God. <laughs> and they're playing. I mean, I don't have any sound, but I'm. Oh, okay. So it's, it's like guitar here. Okay, I, 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 I assume that there are visuals to it, like, uh, yeah, sorry, Tom, I'm, I apologize. I will watch it eventually. It's in, it's in my, uh, it's in my YouTube history, so I'll go back and watch it. Just remind me towards the end of the stream again. Let me, here, let me write it down on my trusty little whiteboard. Uh, watch the vid that Tom sent me. That Tomothy. Tom is short for Tomothy. The top standard mode player is debatable, but one of the best is this guy. A tablet is easier than a mouse? Yeah, I guess that does make sense, right? Oh god, this, so this is the standard mode? This is like, this is like giving me anxiety having to watch this now. <laughs> like, you said, you say you did this, uh... On 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 uh, on YouTube, you you're saying that you do this as like your like your free time like relaxation game, right? But to me, that's like oh, it's like Tetris. Like Tetris, Tetris can get very intense. Like if you've ever tried to like get into the higher rounds of Tetris, Tetris gets intense. I feel like that's that's what I'll be comparing Osu to. Really, is relaxing. Well. Watching it without sound and not really having any idea of what's going on was definitely, that made me a little bit anxious. Definitely a little bit. <laughs> There's just like so much going on at the screen at once that I don't really understand or have a good understanding of. Is that, a, is that on Steam? That, that's something that I could probably play on Mac, right? Cause it's just like, it's just like buttons, you're just pressing buttons, right? I assume that I could buy that on Steam. Maybe I'll try it out a little bit. Let's see. Osu has a big Asian player base to most songs or anime. It's not on Steam, but it's free. Oh, okay. What, so I have to just go, it's, it's like Fortnite where you downloaded its own separate like launcher for it and whatever, whatever. Whatever, what have you. Perhaps I'll check it out. Although, I, I've, honestly, I've never really been into rhythm games that much, I have to say. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing special. 
I know there are a lot of people that like get really into it, but I don't. Uh, this is a difficult area here because it looks like I colored outside the lines even though I didn't. You see this here? I wonder if it's worth it to maybe get some black marker paint in here and then fill this up with brown from the wood. But look, like that is, that's not the table. That's definitely not the table, but I think it'll look better if I just keep it colored in as the same color as the table. All right. Let's see. Again, this part was always gonna be complicated. All right, let's see. Um, he first started playing standard because I was playing, <laughs> I can improve my aim. Give up CSGO and start getting good at it. Weird, okay. That, to, see, to me, like, that's, that's so strange because, like, I'm someone who enjoys first, like, first-person shooters or, like, games like that. And, but, but I would never play, like, a rhythm game, honestly. I, like, uh, but you're, you're saying that you switched over, you had no problem switching over. I find that interesting. I don't know why I find that interesting. I just do. Because it's it's just like two two very very different genres that I feel like there is there wouldn't I I didn't know there would be any any crossover at all really between the types of people that play first person shooters and the types of people that play rhythm games but maybe that just shows you how uninformed I am on the on the topic which I'm which I'm very uninformed about it and I have no problem admitting that. That looks better. That looks better. Okay. Uh, you were playing like six hours a day of CSGO. You're saying you're playing six hours of CSGO a day. Because that's really extreme. That's I, like, I don't get how people got... That's like the Fortnite thing, too. I like, people are so into that game. How are people so into that game? I don't get it. Oh, 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 Sue, oh, Sue. I don't get how, well, okay, well, <laughs> I still go back to my first point of how, I, I don't get how people are so into, uh, let's see, I'm not going to be able to get, I'm, I'm looking for a very dark color here, something like that, ooh, not that, what about that, I'm going to have to zoom out for this, because I don't know. The thing with Osu is you probably have millions of songs, so it's not repetitive at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I get that. I get that. Let's see. This is too dark, but I do want something darker. What about that? Maybe something like that. It doesn't look too bad. I prefer the color blend mode to the overlay blend mode, but you can't really go any darker. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to. But I don't want like, it's not like, this is not like a pastel color kind of thing. The The thing with CSGO is, um, well, people get so into it. I don't, I don't get that either. Esports, it, it brings me, it brings me back to the, the discussion of esports. Osu mania trains your brain and your eyes, by the way. Except you have epilepsy. No, 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 I get that. I absolutely get that. Because I, I used to play, like, Call of Duty, like, all day, every day. Especially when I was younger. Like, during the summer, when you have, you have no school, nothing to do, nothing to worry about. You don't need any money. You're not going anywhere. Because, I, like, I live in a place where, like, I'm not going outside or doing anything at all. So I spend my entire summer inside, uh playing games and so i would play call of duty like all day every single day and by the way it was super fun thanks for asking uh this is weird why is that leaving a mark here <laughs> um is it because it's on overlay blend mode instead of 
Oh, because I'm sampling all layers. That is why. Uh, sorry. Let me get back. Um, <laughs> that's you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Just give me a second. Let me figure this out because I need to figure this out. Let me go like that. I'm just trying to fix up that spot. Let's see. I think that should have worked if I disabled everything. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'll have to, I'll have to remember to do that because I'm going to go back through and do one more pass at uh, at restoring this photo because I think there are, I mean there are obviously like a lot of marks and scratches and stuff. That's from the texture of the photo itself, and it's going to be really difficult to remove. And I'm I'm not I'm just straight up not going to be able to like the like the fuzziness. It's not from a low quality image, it's from the actual texture of the, the paper that this was printed on. Um, and I can do a little bit in terms of like smoothing things out, but really not that much. But I'm going to try again before I move on, uh, before I finalize this. But okay, hold on. Uh, so I'll have to remember that. But let me, let, me, let me go back to what you're saying. The Taiko genre itself is pretty popular. Um, which is drum simulated. Okay. Let me let me hop on this for just a second. Oh, it's not working. F oh, here we go. Sorry. For some reason that wasn't working when I was clicking on it. Whoa. Okay. Th yeah. Like this is insane. Like the guy in this video is just insane. Um. I like how this only has 800 views too. <laughs> like this guy like pouring his heart and soul into uh, into playing this like melody. And he's tr been training his entire life for this, and he has 800 views. Okay. Has Mrs. Applegate decided on a name for her baby yet? No. No. <laughs> oh, Bryn. Um. Mrs. Applegate has not decided on the name for her baby yet, uh, Tom. Mrs. Applegate isn't real. I'm dropping the truth bomb right now. Mrs. Applegate isn't real. Um, oh, so let me so let me get back to what I was saying. Because you were saying how Osu has, like, helped people... I'm just waiting for this to save and then I'll get back to work. Has helped people, like, train their, their brain and their hands. Hand-eye coordination, um... Just like mechanical skills, he said people like get better, like literally get better at playing their instrument from it. And like I like you 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 say that. Mm, what grade are you really in? I'm in a, I'm in fifth grade. I told you. <laughs> you know that's not true. You know the Mrs. Applegate thing isn't true either. Um, so I totally get like the Osu thing of of like it's training people and it's helping people, whatever. Uh, because I, I used to play Call of Duty all the time, all the time. Let me just make sure I pick out the proper things here. Cream, I need like the, 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 the tub, the carton. No, that's not it. There we go. And we need the powder blue case. Even though that's not really a powder blue, but okay. Oh, and we need the silver top. Uh, whoops. Silver top, there. So now this entire thing, this entire tray is outlined, but there's gonna have to be, gonna have to do some more shifting around. Cause like this stuff, it can't, it's, ah. This is such a difficult area. This is such, such, such a difficult area. Um, some professional Overwatch players play Osu for training. But it's not round. I don't. I don't know what that means. But yeah, I don't play. I don't play Overwatch at all. I couldn't care less about it. That's certainly one of the games I, I'll will never play that game. I just won't. I just won't. All right, here we go. Filter. What am I doing? Inverse. There we go. Now, I did this all out of order. <laughs> it's gonna. We'll just fill it with. 
I know I was thinking like a very dark green, but I don't know how well that's gonna work and how well that's gonna blend in now. Oh. You believe that the earth isn't round sorry, I didn't even see that Tim wrote that, sorry. Uh yeah, sure. The earth isn't round, uh-huh, whatever. Alright. Let me fix this now. Let me do a whatever. I'm 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 getting very frustrated with this because like I've I've been doing this like uh oh did my stream just go offline? No no it's still working. Oh god my uh flat 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 it's flat it's flat I tell you it's flat. Uh 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 uh, uh. no that ah. Yeah, this is getting frustrating. I just need this to not be like this. Ah, oh, God. You might stream some Osu tomorrow if you want to watch my amazing skills. Sure, like, I'll come and see it. I, I, I probably won't stick around for too long because I, like I said, I have no idea what would be going on, but... I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. Like I said, rhythm games are not like really my thing at all, so like... I... I'm not very interested in uh... in getting to know it. But um... But I'll come to watch it. If you want me to. <laughs> Alright. This... Here we go. We find, we're finally gonna fix this up now. Get this. Get that. Hide this. There we go. And it's inverted. No, it's not. Uh, what I was saying, going back to the thing that I was saying earlier, is because you said that, like, like I don't find it at all um, surprising that people are actually, like, improving their lives playing Osu because um, I know, like, I used to play a ton, a ton, a ton of Call of Duty, like I was saying, especially when I was younger. And... I think one of the things that I really picked up from playing a ton of Call of Duty is like my my peripheral vision. Like I have very good peripheral vision and like I can like okay if there's if there's like a spider crawling around anywhere in a room, I'll be able to see it. Like just like the tiniest movement out of the corner of my eye and it's like boom, I pick it up. And I'm pretty sure that comes from playing Call of Duty. Like I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> it sounds like a stupid thing to say, but like, but seriously, seriously. So like, I, I attribute that to my hours and hours and hours of playtime on Call of Duty. Um, so I don't find it like, 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 I don't think it's like crazy that people are like playing Osu and then like getting better at piano or getting just, just better like hand-eye coordination. Like the, it's it's a thing like it's it's a real thing, like to me that's not surprising because I have my own I have my own like anecdotal evidence to like that that supports that, so that's that would be my contribution. Yeah, I have I have good reaction time as well. That too. That's again from playing like those those twitchy. Uh, shooter games, like, you gotta be on your toes constantly, like, boom, like, re re reacting, yeah. And it's, it, it trains you, like, it, it, it absolutely is, uh, it, it has an effect, like, video games absolutely have an effect in, in terms of, like, cognitive ability. They do, they do. <clears throat> when, it, it would just be, it just, it's like, it's like a simulator, you know, so... It, it certainly is helpful. Whatever. Um, that, <laughs> that, and that's something that always sticks with me now. Um, I don't know, it's very helpful. To me, it's very helpful. Especially because I get to... <laughs> like, I'm just very, like, observant, observant in that way. And, like, I see just, like, the tiniest little movement. And, I'm, and I notice it. Like, you can't, you can't slide something by me. So I have eyes in the back of my head from that. Alright. 
I don't exactly know how I should be um, cutting this out. There's a 10 keys map with piano songs. What is 10 keys map? Are you talking about Osu? Is that what they're called? They're called maps? Like each, uh, each song or whatever is a map? I, I remember I tried to pick up and play the piano one to, yeah, each song is a map for piano songs. So 10 key piano songs, right. So you're basically like, you're playing a mini piano at that point. So obviously, like some of those skills are going to transfer over. I, 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 I'm, listen, I'm with you. I understand what you're saying 100%. In terms of like the, the skills, the skill aspects of it. How it could be beneficial. This is like a piece of cauliflower or something. I have no idea what this is. Like this is going to make it so difficult to color. And even just to trace because I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Something about a piano. Oh, yeah. I used to... I tried to pick up and play the piano. I tried to start playing the piano one time. I remember one summer when I was younger, I uh, I got my parents to buy me a keyboard, a keyboard piano. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to learn how to play this. Like, you know, begging them. Like you would do, like to beg them to get a dog. Like, no, seriously, I'll take care of it. I'll feed it. I'll play with it. Seriously, I will. I'll learn how to play the keyboard all by myself. I'll just go on YouTube and I'll just learn. And you know, cauliflower. <laughs> That's some weird cauliflower, yeah. But I was like, oh, seriously, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And then they finally broke down and bought it for me. And of course, I never learned how to play it. But uh, piano is like very, 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 very hard. I don't know. I don't know why I thought it was going to be simple. Well, uh, I used to. I used to play the trumpet, um, and I was actually, honestly, I was actually pretty good at it. I have to say, um, I was. I was first chair in my band in my school band. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. Um, Osu made you really interested. Have you have you actually started playing it, or do you play a musical instrument, or have you started actually playing a, a musical instrument because of that? And so, so I was first chair. I was actually pretty good um, at trumpet, and so I was like, "Hey, let me pick up a piano and see like what what's going on." So I like I knew how to read music. It, it wasn't like a completely just like blind. Uh, it wasn't completely like a blind stepping into something, having no idea what I'm doing or what I would need to do. Although, I mean, it was basically like that. Because, you know, you, you can't just pick up an instrument, certainly not a piano, even if you do know how to read music like that. It's just like so much different than every other instrument. Um, but at least I wasn't completely blind going into it. Um, school band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School band. Um, you wanted to get a ukulele at some point, but you upgraded your computer instead. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, that's true. That's a good point. That is a really good point because like going back, like I'm like super cheap and going back to that, like one of my rules and I actually, I got this from someone else. I forget someone, someone told me but like whenever you're going to buy something, that's great. That's fine. That's great. Look it up. Like if it's on, especially if it's like on Amazon or on, uh, uh, in online, you know, go look for it. Obviously get the best price, the best option, have your site set on what you want to buy. And then like, and then just bookmark it or put it on your wish list and let it sit there for a couple days. And then after a couple days, if you're still want to buy that, if you still want to buy that thing, then buy it. But, but don't like, don't just say, Hey, uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to become like a famous piano player now. And then within 20 minutes you have a, you, you've just ordered a grand piano and dropped thousands of dollars on a grand piano that will now be delivered to your home. You, like, you, you have to be very smart with it. You have to be very, um, 
discriminating against it with, with, with purchases, I guess, is a good way to put it. And like, I'm always very like cautious of, of buying things because, listen, I understand that, that feeling all the time of like, uh, like, <laughs> just, just some random thing pops into your mind or you see something online and you're like, hey, wouldn't this be really cool uh, to get? Uh, and, then, and, then, and then 20 minutes later, you, you've ordered it and you just dropped hundreds or, or thousands of dollars on something. And it's like, like you, can't, you can't be going around doing that. You just can't. You just can't do that. So I'm always very careful and very cautious when I go to buy things. And that would be my advice to anyone who is very um, spend happy, very, very, very trigger happy in terms of buying things is like get the, look at the thing that you want to buy fine then just let it just let it sit for just a little bit just let it sit for a little bit and see how you feel the next morning or two mornings from now and if you're still like as excited about purchasing it then go and purchase it if not then don't i was, I was saving money for a cat at first because you can't get bored with a cat that's probably true i've i've been wanting a dog for a long time now and i i at this point, it's not going to work because I'm going to be moving around very soon and things like that. So it doesn't really make sense for me. It's too late now. It's too late for me to get a dog until like later on in life when I'm more settled down. Or, you know, if I go and move into an apartment and they're, uh, they allow pets, then, you know, I, I like I'll have to be in a semi permanent location before I can buy a dog. And, and that won't be for a while now for me. Um, let me see. But you can have one so a whole list of things pop. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got you. It's like, wait, well, I was just going to spend a bunch of money on this thing, but I can't get it now. So I just, that, that, that money becomes free money. And it's like, I don't care how, how, uh, how I spend it or, you know, how, how this goes. Why actually be like, why make rational purchases and decisions when the, I mean, this is free money. I was just going to use it anyway. I might as well just burn it or throw it out or whatever so did you ever end up getting a cat or not uh Bryn because <laughs> um, yeah I mean I'm I'm not a cat person I'm a dog person I want a dog I'm not getting a dog for a while for a long time probably which is which is sad but I'll make do I'll make do um there was another thing that I, I free oh oh right one of the things that I've been looking into most right now is buying a drone. And that's like, it's something that I've been wanting to do. And I, I believe I've talked about it on stream before, but I've been wanting to buy a drone for like quite some time at this point. And I've, I've never, uh, no, your parents don't like arguing over things that you want. So you, you just accepted the no, yeah. Ah, that's a shame. Um, that is a shame. Uh, I, I've been, I've been like wanting a drone for so long now. Um, it's just like it's just, it's very, very. It's just too expensive. Still, it's it's too expensive. And I also I have nothing to do with the drone other than for personal use, which that's fine. I mean, like I bought my camera just thinking that it would be for personal use too and you know it's it's spun into this entire uh this whole twitch stream if, if i had never bought that camera for my own personal use you know i wouldn't be doing this twitch stream right now i wouldn't have i've, I've made some money doing some of this stuff from twitch stream and uh from tips and from freelance work all because buying the camera but actually have nothing really having to do with the camera it's just sort of like it was like the 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 the, the the ignition to, to this whole thing. So I mean, like I'm 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 happy that I made the purchase because I I never intended to make any money off of it, but I ended up making some money off of it, uh, and I plan to continue making some money off of it. Although it's so, gosh darn expensive, and I I've, I've been looking at um trying to get new lenses for my cameras because for my camera because I'm still using the kit lens as of right now. And the kit lens is not very good, of course, uh, and it can't do a lot of things, 
of course, that I would like to be able to do with it. Um, but with that, even with that all being said, but anyway, uh, going back, why people keep calling me? I don't know why people call me. Um, I'm not gonna check that. I'm not, I'm not stop. The stream is more important. I don't know if you can hear the phone ringing in the background or not. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. So, like, I've, I've been looking into buying a drone, and they're really, 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 really expensive. But I'm actually okay with. I'm okay with spending that much money for something that I'd only be using personally, as a per, as like personal use. But, like, I, I don't know. I, I just need like a little bit more. Like, I, I like. It's like we need to meet in the middle, like the, the expense, like the cost of the drone, and like the the amount of money I'll get back from it. Like I just need a little bit more out of it, for sure. To 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 finally justify making that purchase because right now, right now it's too expensive, and I have like too little to use it for. I have too little to use it for. But I mean, I would love a drone. Um, Honestly, I would love a drone just to like fly around my my uh, my town my town here We have like a lake here. We have some parks here. We have uh, a nice area where you can go and watch the sunset um, because just the, the the location of it Like like there's a lot that you could do in terms of like aerial views and Just like really cool stuff that I know I could do with a drone, but then past that I'd love to be able to like just take it a bunch of different places. Same thing that I do with my camera. And even if it's not like I'm not going out and professionally making money from it, like I would still be enjoying the the footage that I get from it. And it's just like a, it's just like a cooler way to look at the world. I think to be able to get like a top-down view of things, or just you know, just to get a different angle on things. I guess because I mean I, I like it, it would just be like taking photos, but now I have. Now I have, well, it's more oriented uh, for video usage, of course, but it'd be like taking photos, except now I can uh, become like a, like a 40 foot tall giant that can move my camera anywhere around this park from any angle and get any shot that I want. That's what it would be like. <laughs> to me, that's like a very exciting opportunity. And so that's why I would I would love to be able to do it, um, to be able to buy one. But they're still very expensive. I know, and I, I've told this story before. But when I went to um, when I went to Peru last summer, there, we we went to visit a, a salt mine where they where they're um, it's it's just like this giant like canyon basically, and built into the sides of the canyon are these like little um, like rock steps. And on the rock steps, uh, you can the, the salt. There's it's salt, so you the, you know and they have the little um, steps for the salt and everything. And so these these giant, I mean, there's this giant canyon. Uh, you have two of those here. Yeah. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, and and so the point is that we were visiting there, and and someone I I didn't know who they were. I mean, I, I they weren't like as part of, part of my trip, but. Uh, this guy and he had his drone with him and so he was able to like send his drone out into the middle of the canyon or like the, the cavern and the can the canyon the canyon and like get this whole nice like 360 view of it take a bunch of pictures all the way from the from the middle where you know you couldn't stand there because there's nothing there it's just in the middle of the of the canyon like like to me that was like such a cool idea and it's like like if I would I would love a drone because not only would I be able to get all this footage and, and, and pictures and cool things of where I live, but then when I go and visit and travel places, like, there's so many more, there are so many more things that you can do uh, that it would just be so interesting. I don't know. It's something that's been on my mind forever, and, like, basically since they've been a thing. It's also just, like, such a future thing. Like, to me, it's, it's, to me, it's still kind of, like, hard to believe that drones even exist. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But they just seem like something from the future, right? I mean, it's like Back to the Future flying cars. That, that's basically what they are. They're just very tiny flying cars. But they're flying cars. And it's like, wow, like... 
That's really cool. <laughs> That's really awesome. I would love to have a mini flying car that could just go around taking photos of things that I wouldn't otherwise be able to photograph. But yeah, going back to it, they're super expensive and I, I know nothing about using them and the battery runs out right away. So like even like the top high-end drones, 30 minutes, maybe, maybe 30 minute runtime. And then, then you have to worry about losing this thousand dollar plus worth of equipment because you didn't get it back on time and now it's like floating endlessly or crashed into a tree or whatever. And uh, I don't know, it, it's, I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. I, 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 I just still have too many reservations basically before I'm willing to drop the money on it quite yet. Um, that's, that's what I would say, but I, I would really, there's something that I've definitely been looking into and would want to get, but I think it would probably be a smarter investment for me to, to probably just buy a better lens for my camera because the lenses that I've been looking at are like very, very, very expensive and, uh, basically would be as expensive as a drone. Um... I don't know about others, but I do a hell of a lot of... Yeah, of course, of course. That's what I'm saying. It's like, this is this is something that I've been... Re I, I mean, it's something that I have been researching for literally years. because, And I still have not purchased a, 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 a single drone yet. So, I certainly do a lot of research into it. Um, this is actually not a terrible color. I want to make it a little bit less bright. Let me see. That doesn't look awful. I thought it was going to be much more difficult. It doesn't look terrible. Um, obviously, when I zoom out, things look a little bit better. <laughs> things are a little bit nicer on the eyes. That's not too bad, I suppose. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's not too bad. Um, even if you don't get a cat... Yeah, that's true. That's another thing. is I, I went like really in-depth looking into dogs to buy, too. And, uh, it never happened. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I think it would be a better investment for me right now to buy a new lens for my camera. Just because I already know how to use a camera. And I already know, I, I know exactly what I'd be using it for. Uh, right now I just have a kit lens. I would like to get a 24 to 70 millimeter um, lens. Even that, even that in itself is very, very, very expensive. That's like $600 used. That that's that's the off-brand the Sigma lenses, which so like not Nikon or Canon. That's the off-brand one used. Even that itself is $600. And then I would also, I also really want like a nice long 70 to 200 like telephoto lens. Um, and that's $1,200 or something. And it's like, that's um, three times the price of the camera body and plus kit lens plus bag that came included plus a memory card. That's three times that just for a single lens. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> But I, I really want it. I really, really, really want it. But, uh... <laughs> and, like, I know how I would use it. Uh, I would certainly get more into, like, portrait work, portrait photography, which I haven't gotten into at all. Because my... The kit lens isn't... I mean, I could do portrait photography uh, zoomed in at, like, 55 millimeters with my kit lens, but... You know, that, that's not great. Um, but the 70 to 200 would just be so great. Uh... And I just, like, there's so much that I could do with it. It opens up, like, an entire new world to work with. Because um, that's four times the zoom that I'm used to. So there's so much more that I could be doing there. Um, but it's also $1,200. The, the off-brand version is $1,200. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I can justify making, spending that. 
quite yet. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work out. Uh, let me see. You like how we went from Apple overpricing the thing? <laughs> Yo, it's, you know it, you know it, we've come full circle. We have come full circle. Everything costs too much. That, that's the main takeaway. I think that's the good main takeaway. We, we've had a great discussion. We've learned so much. But ultimately what it comes down to is things cost way, 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 way too much. Nice. This is why we can't have nice things. Because it just costs too much. It cost too damn much. All right. So I'm assuming that these little circular things here are coins, but I don't know. See, yeah, <laughs> I enjoy talking. I thought the entire point of a stream is to talk. That's another reason, I mean, that's the reason why I don't watch, uh, I don't, <laughs> you might find this strange, but I, I don't watch any Twitch. I mean, I watch Claire, I watch, I drop in and watch Claire when I can. That's it. That's literally it. And even then, I've gotten really bad at being able to drop in and watching her just because of the time that she streams and, and I've been super busy lately. Um, because if you go in and you watch a big stream, one... It's most likely video games, which I don't necessarily have an interest in. And two, it's uh, some guy who's not talking to the chat, and he's he's not talking at all. He, he, you know, he'll he'll be talking about the game or whatever. Like, oh dang, I, I just shot that guy. Oh, oh that that guy. Oh, he got away from me. Oh, oh dang, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because I don't watch. But uh, that uh, but. What I'm, what I do is, I, what I thought you were supposed to do on when you are a Twitch streamer, which is like, talk, <laughs> and like talk about things. But I don't know. Maybe people have a different idea. I just don't particularly understand. I think that's the difference. Is like when you do, uh, it, the 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 small stream. I think that's the point. I think that's. To me, the small streams are so much more interesting. Like, I, I still consider Claire to be a small streamer, just in that she's interacting with the chat and she's talking and having interesting conversation. That doesn't necessarily have anything to do with uh, what she's even working on. You know, if she's working on a Photoshop thing, she'll talk about whatever. Um, and obviously that's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing now, too. Um, let me see. Although occasionally I have to bring my focus back to this because this is a little bit once we get into these small details here where I'm, I th this is all guesswork I'm doing yeah you have those big streamers that that like at that point it's like well just just upload a video on YouTube because you're not interacting with us at all like there's no <laughs> I'm multitasking very well uh, yeah, 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 I, I, I'm getting better. I've noticed, that's the only thing, going back to, like, the video game thing, um, how, like, video games, like, have improved my, my hand-eye coordination, uh, my, my perception of my, uh, peripheral vision, or, or you were saying, like, it's gotten you more interested in music and, and helped you mechanically with your, um, just with your hands, use of hands. One of the things that I've gotten better at Streaming, I, I absolutely notice it. First of all, okay, I think I was pretty good to begin with because I set out with the goal in mind that I would be going in, multitasking, talking, and working at the same time. Like, I didn't want to sit here like a bump on a log just being like, oh, uh, we're, we're coloring this in now. Oh, isn't, th isn't this cool? We're, we're coloring this in, and, uh, well, we just zoomed out now. Like, I, I wanted to add something more than just that. Um, and I also think that that helped. I think that helped a lot, first of all. Is that good? Eh. It doesn't look too great. It does not look too great. Um. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I just noticed this now is when you do the emotes in the chat, they show up on the screen. I mean, I, that's that's how all the messages are, but I, I would have assumed that they showed up as like the Unicode, like like you know, you type in uh, the 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 lol 
emote thing. I, I thought it would just, it'd just be in what you typed in, but it actually shows up as the emote. That's cool. Um, so I, I came in knowing that that, that, that was going to be my goal, that I was going to try to talk while working. And honestly, it is difficult because um, I come from video games, I'm playing video games, and like usually <clears throat> part of the reason why I go and I play video games is to like talk with friends. So it's just something to like put on in the background as you're, as you're talking with friends, you know, it's just something that you you put on and, you know, you're just relaxing, messing around in a video game. But really, you're there to talk with friends and everything like that. And so when I got on Twitch, I was like, who, who uh, there are a lot of, like, video game streamers that, that aren't even able to do that, that aren't even able to, like, talk while they play, which is surprising to me. And I thought it was going to be just as easy coming onto Photoshop, it's not, it's not. It's certainly harder to do than to talk while playing video games. I'll say that. Because uh, there's, there's a lot to think about when you're putting together, when you're putting together something like this. There's a lot to think about. All right, I'm calling this cauliflower. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. Also, I'm pretty sure that I spelled that wrong, but please don't judge me for my spelling. Okay. Um, but yeah, but like video games, one of the things that I've gotten better at is talking while working on, uh, on, on the projects. Is that something I'm happy for? Not that that's really a skill that can transfer over at all to anything else, but it just makes, it just makes my stream better. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. Uh... Yes, that's true. That's true. But I, I'm not talking about. Um, obviously, once you get into like the high level competitive, like game streams, or like if like if Claire is playing the ukulele, she's not gonna be talking to the chat while singing like mid mid uh, stanza. But I mean, I'm telling, I'm just telling you about people that like it, it, they just seem very uh, disconnected from what's going on. I don't know, that, that's what it feels like to me. Let's see, let's keep coming in here. Um, and, like, like I said, it's, I mean, it's not really something that, like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 I know, I know. I do know that, yeah. That's what I'm saying, is you can sit there and talk and game at the same time, I feel like. And I, I feel like, just with my, I mean, I've never done a gaming stream, but I've talked to people while gaming, certainly, and that's never been difficult for me. What I would what I would equate um, what I would equate this to photoshopping and streaming and talking with is kind of like, let me see, there were oh, there, <laughs> no, the gaming does not require singing with your hands. It doesn't. Um, there's an Osu streamer that enjoys the game and it's fine and sings along with the song. Yeah, no, no, but that's different though. That's different though because they're they're putting on a show. I'm not saying that you have to. There's not there's no right way to stream. There's no right way to to play and stream or to stream and do whatever. There's no way to. There's not a right way to do it. I'm just saying. To me, what I find is most interesting is when someone is able to stream whatever whatever it is. It doesn't matter because I, I think. In, in a perfect world, the the game or the the activity isn't what you're there to see. I think that maybe that's just me, but it's more about the personality or the conversation or the discussion, right? I don't know. I'm not someone who watches Twitch like on a regular basis though, so I don't necessarily have like my my finger on the pulse of like what's in and what's out and what's cool and what's the right way to do things or not. I'm, I just do it my way and uh, whatever. <laughs> like, I, like I'm just doing the like. That's another thing is like, I'm I'm streaming my work process, and I would be doing this no matter what. Um, let me just get this area here. And I was doing this no matter what. I did. I did the entire first three quarters of this colorization. I wasn't streaming or recording any of it. And then I was like, "Well, I finally have the time to come on and be entertaining and and, and put up and put on a stream 
while I work, so let me do that now. But, like, the work that I'm doing on stream is the work that I'd be doing no matter what. And so... I don't know, I, I, don't, I, I don't really know what I was doing. Um, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> not really, <laughs> not really. Know. Yeah, that's the thing, is like, the Photoshop thing might be, might be pushing people away. But really, the idea isn't to, to sit here and talk about Photoshop or to teach you about Photoshop or to whatever, you know? But I, 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 mean, I could see how, it, for, first of all, it has drawn people in. Um, some people, uh, who, but, but, you know, people that are interested in photography or Photoshop or colorizing or art, art kind of stuff, it draws people in, but it, it's not like, it's not like the main attraction, I'm not, I'm not sitting here like, today I'm going to teach you how to Photoshop or, you know, you felt, <laughs> You found Claire by browsing cats only. Yeah, I think you told me about that. I think you told me that story, or someone was telling me that story. And it's just funny, like how things like that work out. And so, uh, um, obviously, there's like a huge video game community on here. And so, one of the ideas is like people are always telling me like, "Hey, like, come on, uh, come on, do a special edition video game stream." blah 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 and I'm against that but it, I mean, it could have its advantage I, I suppose because it could draw in new people but the problem is I also I don't want to like mislead people into thinking that I'm gonna be like this new video game streamer I, I, I don't know it's just very difficult it's a difficult position to be in I, I, I don't know just like I have no idea what this thing is what is this what I don't know what this is people are still calling too that doesn't look too bad I'm just gonna roll with that because I don't know what the, I don't I have no idea. Do, does anyone know what that is? What is that? I don't know what it is. So I'll just leave it some like non-distracting color, right? So yeah, I I basically look at myself as a variety streamer <clears throat> because well, g first of all, because I am doing a variety of different things. Sure, it's all working with Photoshop and and Lightroom, but like a couple streams ago, I was I was like remastering. Uh, basically, I was remastering a frame from an old Bugs Bunny cartoon. Today, I'm not even doing photo editing. I'm doing photo colorization. Those are two very separate things to do. And then later on, I could go and do editing photos that I took. Like that, those are three entirely separate different things that I could be doing. So, uh, you watch a single gaming streamer just because it's a community. Like who gives you a sub five months in a row? I don't understand that. I don't understand it. I don't understand the whole sub thing on Twitch. Like if you want to give me money, that's good. Give me money. Like go ahead, give me money. <laughs> like my, I have a, a, a donation thing down in the description of this Twitch of the of the Twitch of the go 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 down below and you can do it through Streamlabs. You can send me money on PayPal, whatever. But if if you're gonna do that, do that. Don't do it through Twitch because aren't they just gonna take half of the proceeds anyway? And then, and then what's the point of subscribing even? Like, I'm not... You'd pay $5 for emotes. So it's just for emotes. <laughs> I like those. <laughs> to be fair, okay, to be fair, those are good emotes. To be fair, those are pretty funny. <laughs> so, but... Is that it, though? Like... And, and you get to hear... I don't know. You get to hear someone call out your name and say, Hey... So and so, you just donated. Uh, you just subbed for uh, the third month in a row. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Are you in a sub-only Discord, though? By the way, I, I j it just seems strange. I don't know. Like to to shut off half of a community or like a, like a quarter of your community. Uh, what is this? This will be the pencil. Pencil body. 
like I said, I don't watch any Twitch, so like I, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how. Uh... Oh, that's true. The chat is ninety five percent subs. Ooh, that's that's a good point. That's a good point because like that's true. That's true. It's like you you have your lurkers, but obviously your most engaged people would then support you monetarily. Okay, okay. I get that. No, but, no, no, but uh, no. That's the thing. I'm not against supporting someone monetarily. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, why do it through Twitch when you can just send them PayPal money, basically, right? People give subs to random people on a daily basis. Yeah, I don't get that. Who, who, I just don't get the whole. This, I don't. I don't understand the whole sub culture. There. There, that's it. That's all. That's that's what I'll say. I, and I'm not trying to attack you. I'm 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 interested. Like like please, like explain it to me. How how many how many channels are you sub to? Um. I, I mean, I guess there is there is. I think a lot of it has to do with the. <clears throat> <laughs> You're not feeling attacked. Yeah, okay, because I'm not trying to attack you, so that's good. <laughs> um, only one? Is it? Is it just that one that you were talking about? Uh, the, uh, the, the, the single gaming streamer? Yeah, okay. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, da, 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 da. Some, oh, right, so I think... What a lot of it has to do with is like the community that Twitch itself has already built up around the idea of like subscribing and like that's the appropriate way to show your support for a streamer, for example, right? So people want to support the streamer but at the same time reward loyal viewers that can't afford subs. Hmm. Oh, so you're, are you referring to, like, the the, uh, the giveaway thing? The giveaway thing that, that you're talking about? Because that's a fun idea, too. Why is none of that working? What do you, what do you, what are you referring to? I'm, I'm sorry. Is that good? This this one area here is being a bit of a pain. Let's get that. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. No, there's no pressure. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sitting here, still working on this. Whenever you type it out, if it takes you ten years to type it, or if it takes you ten seconds to type it. All right. There's no way I'm finishing. I just, I'm not gonna finish it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. Cause I'm gonna be leaving, I'm not going all the way until 6 o'clock today. Normally the schedule would be 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, um, on Tuesdays. We're already at 5, it's already 5.10 right now, and I'm gonna have to be leaving early at some point, so... We're not gonna be able to finish this. We're very close, though. We are very, oh my god, we're so close. Well, okay, no. Well, we have this little bit to do, but we have, um... Just a tiny bit. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See, that is one of the things I would say is that, uh... Let's see, yeah, we have this little bit back here. We are very, we're getting very close. This is exciting. I'm getting excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, let me see what you said in a second here. Hold on. Let me just scroll back down. Alright. Uh, people will do something else with $5 rather than subscribing on a channel on Twitch. Most Twitch users are students, teenagers, so other than watching a streamer, you can't really support them. Yeah. I understand that. So what what are you saying? What is the what is the point you're trying to prove? I'm I I was I'm I'm just saying that if you're gonna support someone, send them money through PayPal and not through Twitch. That's all I was saying. Oh. So other people that have been supporting the streamer for a while will reward you for watching. Oh, oh, 
I see. I I get it now. I get it now. You are right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right, and you're right. So it's more about doing things that will help the community. Basically, is what you're saying. Is you'll be helping the community. And um, let's see, pencil tip. <clears throat> so like emotes and supporting the streamer you are then therefore helping and, and becoming a part of the community as well. That certainly makes sense. Okay, there you go. That makes sense. What I was gonna say is like, it also has to do a little bit with the, yeah, the streamer already gets a lot of money. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. It, it also has to do a little bit with the, the culture of Twitch like just like the subscribe culture, if that makes sense, like subscribe, just the subscribe culture. It, it because um, when I was watching Claire on a more regular basis, when I was able to, uh, when was that? Uh, over my uh, winter break, when I, you know, I was on there every night, and like it was a whole ton of fun. And I believe she has a donation thing under her uh, channel. But rather than do that, I was seriously considering um, subscribing to her just for a month. It would it would have only been for a month, but it, like for some reason that just it just felt different. Like it's just a different feeling, and I think that has to do with the culture that Twitch has already built up around like subscribing and things like that. So I think that I think that is partially a part of it too. So what's the point of spending the money through PayPal when you get around 75% of the money to the $1 won't really matter? I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. To me, well, because when you, when you subscribe on Twitch, it's $5, right? It's $5 a month. And Twitch takes half of that, right? So you're only giving the person $250. So I'm saying, send me five or ten dollars, whatever you want, whatever you want. And I'm not, I'm not talking specifically to you. I'm just saying in general, obviously. Send me whatever money you want over PayPal, and it'll be on your own terms. And and it's just, it's just seemed to me like less of a hassle, I guess, is like the main the main thing. And PayPal takes a smaller cut too. They're not going to take. 50% of what you're sending. That's that's my uh, that was my that's my reasoning behind it. Let's see, let's get a nice little pencil tip there. That's looking good. That's a bit of a fat pencil. That pencil is pretty fat. It's very thick. I hope that is a pencil. I mean, it looks like a pencil from the <laughs> from the original. It looked like a pencil. I, I who knows? Okay. If you really want to support a streamer, you would pay five dollars. Yes. So it's not really a big support, but rather paying for emails. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay, that makes sense too. It's like you're getting something in return. You're getting something semi-tangible. I mean, not technically tangible, but. You're getting something in return too. You're getting the emotes, and you're get, you're getting your uh, your banner or whatever the thing whatever the thing that pops up next to your name the badge the badge. You're getting your badge. You're getting the emotes. You're getting the recognition. You're getting the uh, status. You're getting ad free uh, watching. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That certainly that makes more sense. Yeah, the no ads thing, definitely. Uh I could always turn on ad blocker, but Twitch is pretty much the only site out there where I turn off my ad blocker. Um because I cuz if I'm ever watching someone, I want them to be able to make some money off of me because <laughs> because I can't I can't uh, I can't monetarily support them 
So I say, listen, if I have to spend 30 more seconds sitting through this ad to watch them, I'll do it uh, knowing it'll support them. And I like, how, I like how Twitch has that thing where it says, like, this is going to support um, coin thing. This is going to support the channel versus this is going to support Twitch. I like that a lot, like the transparency there, because it makes me feel even better about having my ad block off and saying, like, I am making this person money right now by sitting through this ad. And I think that's that's a really cool... It, it, it is it's, it's more of like a community-driven kind of thing. I got you. I got you with that. Whereas the PayPal is not. You know, if you do it over PayPal, it's not. It has nothing to do with the community. I got you. That makes sense. This is an, an illuminating discussion. <laughs> See, we've, we've, all, we've all learned things today. We've learned that things are way too expensive. We've learned that... Um, let me get this here. We've learned why people would rather subscribe than just donate. And, uh, yeah. We learned a lot about the subscription process. Now I know. And I think I would have a better understanding of it too if I actually if I actually cared to spend more time on Twitch than uh but oh well. I think I I just I just I I do like the platform. I just haven't found someone that really clicks with me. Besides Claire, but I can't I can't watch her streams as often as I'd like to. Cause they're always so late. But it, but yeah, but no no no, I get it. I get it. I get what you're saying. And I do, I do get the community aspect of it too, as well, because I think that's like a, that that is almost a bigger deal than anything. <laughs> Your parents say you don't do any good things on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Well, you you could be helping someone out by watching ads for them. Um. And even even uh, even even if the ads aren't going to support the the creator, I I still leave them on because I don't know. I feel like because like YouTube YouTube I have ad block on. I'm just gonna say it right now. I have I have ad block on on YouTube because like I just don't like they they're not very fair with creators. I feel like and it's like it's hard for me to want to support that maybe that's a maybe that's a bad way of looking at things but that is how I look at it all right let's see I don't want this thing to be too similar maybe add a little bit of green yeah there you go and then I'll just do like a a brown a brown color in there and just like in the rest of what's going on there <laughs> I'm, yeah you you are literally helping someone survive you're allowing someone to survive. Think about it that way. I mean, I don't, I don't know the ad revenue. I don't know what the, the actual ad revenue breakdown is on Twitch. Um, I know on YouTube it's not very significant at all. I assume on Twitch it's a little tiny bit more. Let's see. Let's get the the cauliflower. The tray, the coins. All right. Oh, damn it. Your country has one of the worst income for views on YouTube. Uh, what country is that? Is it really based on, it's not based on country. I, I always thought, what I was reading is that it's also, it's very much based on age too. Romania. Ooh, okay, cool. Um, what, what I was reading about YouTube is that it's also very much based on age. So, hold on, let me do this. Clump of stuff. Clump of stuff. So, um, yeah, you might have, you might, obviously, I mean, most of the people on YouTube are still very young. Um, because that's just how it works. They have the most amount of time to be sitting down and watching tons and tons of videos and hours and hours and hours of uh, content on YouTube. 
Well, yes, yes, you see different ads, but for example, um, if you are older, then you are more likely to be able to spend that money. You know what I mean? And so your click means more to YouTube because you're gonna, you have a higher percentage, you have a, you have a higher percentage of possibly spending the money. Because some kid isn't gonna be able to spend the money because they don't, they don't have a card. So at best they'd have to go and beg their parents for it and then so most likely the parents aren't gonna buy them the thing. But if you're an independent older person with their own money and their own debit card or credit card and you can go and spend money and drop cash on something, then your click is worth more. And that, again, that doesn't, that's not necessarily having to do with age, it has to do with income too and YouTube is able to spy on you enough to be able to figure that stuff about you. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I was reading. Let's see. I think that's good. Let me switch this over to color now, and then I'll. I'll I, let me just. just a second. As a teenager, you, you, I spend money on games too. Yeah. No, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not. It's not exactly based on age. It's based on a whole bunch of things, and YouTube, it's Google. So Google has, they already have a whole profile on you already. They know how, how, uh, how likely you are to buy ads. They know your age. They know your interests. They know, you know, if you have the ability to purchase anything at, the, at a time. They know your mood. They know the mood that you're in. <laughs> They're able to market, market, market stuff to you that way. So it's not necessary. I'm, I'm, but age is is a pretty big factor in terms of things like that. They know what you just ate. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. I hope that's not true. I swear there was one time, I I can't I I can't know for sure, but I'm like ninety eight percent sure that Twitter was spying on me through my camera. Because I I. It's such a strange story. It, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell it because it's, it, it reveals too much of my own personal information to, to the world that I'm not going to tell it. But basically, I can't prove it. But on Twitter, I had, never, I had never given Twitter any idea that I'd be interested in a certain thing. But one day, I was wearing a sweatshirt with, uh, with a logo on it. And the very next day, the very next day, I started getting ads for that thing. After having never done anything with that thing on Twitter ever, like, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I can't prove it, but like I'm 99.99999% sure that they spied on me through my camera and that's how they started marketing those ads to me. I'm pretty sure. I can't prove it. I can't prove it. I can't prove it, but I know for a fact that that's what happened. I, that, that, that's the fact. Is I had never done anything on Twitter with that brand slash logo. I wore that shirt. The next day I started getting ads. That's, that's fact. That's fact. Anything outside of that would be speculation. But that in itself is fact. Well, this wasn't a webcam. This was not a webcam. This was on my phone. So... I have I have the camera disabled. I don't have I don't let Twitter uh, I don't have give them you know I can I have an iPhone so it has that thing where like you can disable or enable permissions for the app. They don't have access to my camera, and it still happened. Yes, it was on my phone. <laughs> You're saying that's why you should blast intense music. That's a, you listen. That's a good reason to blast intense music so they can't listen to you. But I, like I know, I know that that's like the whole thing now is like the, the devices are listening to you, this and that. They're listening to you. They're, they're they're watching. These companies are spying on you. Blah 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 blah. Cool. That's great. All I know is for a fact, I had never done anything on Twitter to let them know that I was interested in that. I wore the shirt. The next day, I started getting ads. That's all I know. That's 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's on Android too, but I, I think what, what I'm just saying on, on iPhone, they do not have Twitter does not have permission on my camera, and yet that is something that happened. That's it. I, I don't want to be like the crazy conspiracy theory like person like when it comes to that kind of stuff, because I think that the amount of like data that that would take up to be constantly recording you and things like that is like a lot, a lot, a lot. And um, I'm just trying to think about what else is, needs to be done. Nothing else needs to be done down here, right? I think we finally finished this tray. It looks like crap. This honestly looks terrible. It does, it does. It looks awful. But there's not much that I can do here because it's not, I can't see what this stuff is. So how am I supposed to color it properly when I don't know what it is? Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't wanna, that's not crazy at all. We have theories about uh, effing meteor, meteor on Fortnite. Yeah, it really is crazy. Okay, so we're done here. Let's see, so what's next? What's next is this last part back here. We have this last part back here. And we have this little windowsill, which will be the same as that stuff back here. Oh, we are getting close. We are getting very close. I'm just gonna zoom out one last time. Um, I think that's a little bit of a mess down there. Uh, it's a little bit messy. Because <laughs> none of it makes sense. Um, yeah, 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 I'll do that right now. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm finished for the day. I'm gonna sign off like really soon. So um, I, I'm not gonna do any more work. So uh, let me just save it and then I'll do um, a comparison between the original and what we have right now knowing full well that we basically, we are at the end. We are certainly at the end. I think today I was like very hesitant to name this stream, finishing the, the recoloring of uh, whatever this photo is. But I think uh, if I stream tomorrow, which I might do, I don't have any plans. Oh, Brent, are you in the Discord, by the way? Uh, Go, go down below and you'll find a link to my Discord. Uh, if you could join that, that would be good. Just, just so you know when I'm going to be going live and things like that. Um, what, so I was going to say, so like, I, I, I might be going live tomorrow. If I go live tomorrow, I'd feel very, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd feel pretty confident in saying that uh, I'm about to finish this. So I'll certainly, okay. All right, so let me let me show you the before and after. So this is the before. Pretty good. Listen, I'm I'm very thankful of having this photo because this photo is like so high quality. It's such a great photo. Um, it, it was professionally taken at the time. It was it's a professional photo. Uh, they had a professional photo crew come in here and and, and photograph the wedding. And. Uh, in the box that I found this in, they had like amazing, amazing, um, really high quality, really nice, uh, it was, in this, it was a really nice photo album, and, um, so, so, so it, it was preserved, like, really, really well. This photo is from the late 1950s, I think from 57, 1957, and it, it's basically without a scratch. There, there's some, there's some dust on it, there's some, like, marks on it, that's it without a scratch, uh, without crumbling corners or, or fade, nothing faded, nothing even faded really. Um, so I'm, I'm really grateful of having such an amazing photo to start with as a base. And then I just came in and this is what it looks like right now. I think, uh, yeah, it, it is pretty impressive, yeah, yeah. I think um, I think I might be tweaking. I think I might tweak the wall a little bit, the wall color a little bit more, and I think I might desaturate the little trays down here. These little bottom tray, the bottom tray, the stuff on the bottom tray, just so it's less distracting and 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 takes away less from the image. But basically, besides those two very minor adjustments, and then we have in here, uh, this whole area in here in the mirror, 
This window is still here. I don't know what I'm going to be doing here. I think I'm just going to be painting it black, basically. And then we'll be done. Then we'll finally, 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 finally be able to say we're done. And I think I can finish that in one sitting. In one sitting, one stream, I think I can get that done. And I was saying that perhaps that will be tomorrow. So we'll find out. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's down below. Make sure you join the Discord. That's down below. And uh, just stay tuned. This is when I'd normally be streaming. I'm finally back to this schedule. You can expect it every Tuesday from now on from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, check the YouTube stuff too. I think I'm way behind schedule there as well, but I think I'm going to be picking it back up again, hopefully. So we'll see. Uh, thanks for everyone that came out and watched and, and joined along and chatted along. Thank you, Bryn, for staying with me this whole time. And uh, I'll let you know if I'm streaming tomorrow. If I am, then uh, I'll see you then. But until then, see ya later.